Welcome again to Zach Discovery's YouTube channel. Uh, it's a beautiful time, a good time again we are meeting. In fact, um, since my last video to now, in fact, it's not by our own power, but by God's grace. So I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate your support for checking in these videos, for watching, for commenting, for liking, and without forgetting to share. Don't forget, guys, we are moving to 5,000 mark. Uh, fellow the boy is moving to 10,000 mark so Tenga Junior 10,000 Joint and Green Life 3 they're moving ahead also I think to 3,000 mm, we have just said I must want to 2,000 all the support you're giving us we just say God bless you so, so concerning our projects um, I usually lack words because uh, uh, it's not because you people have it it's because you help us to spread this love across the globe and Zach Discovery and fellow the boys team we are just here used as bridges to ensure that work is done and everything is done perfectly as it's supposed to be yeah thank you so much for everything for even the prayers for even for supporting us for encouraging us yeah it's not good to forget to tell you that thank you so much again I'm in mean, this compound but uh, I'll not go inside because, yeah, so the compound is locked. In fact, it is locked. Yeah, this is Baba Godfrey's place, so no one is around. But uh, the poultry are there, they can see them. I'm really enjoying. So I came here today purposely because, uh, you remember the last time I came to this place, I wanted to confirm, I, w I asked this man about the second plowing of this land. So, he told me that uh, this guy is supposed to have come, and I left. So, I left a message. I told him that, make sure, please, that they come. They can't apply this because um, we had paid them. Okay. He said he had paid them because I gave him all the money I was sent to ensure the second plowing of this land was done. So, for the new members in the channel, this land, if you see closely the way that fence is, there's a small hedge of Napier grass that goes all the way to the road. Yes, yeah, so let's say these lands that are plowed, half of it is for this man. Yeah, he's a widower. The wife passed on uh, some years back. So he was left with four children that he was to take care of. So when I met this family by that time, it was in a pathetic situation by their night that... Uh, when the wife got ill, the man had to rent this piece of land to someone for some seasons, for some years, so that uh, um, they, can, uh, they can have money to treat the, the late the sister. So unfortunately, she didn't manage, she didn't make it, she passed on. So then after that, again, this man, by the way, they are very bad. The God phrase, they are very bad. For those people who have been following us, they know the situation of this family. So you can watch those people on in channel. You can follow the God phrase storyline from where we, we found them. Yeah, all the way from the school. Yeah, because of good Samaritan, good people who are willing to help out. So eventually, this is the wonderful compound we have compound to be talked and reckoned in the village so here they are today so when the lady the, 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 late, the late wife uh, died again this man added more season to this man and I was given money to help him in terms of the funeral arrangement so last season is when night ended in fact it was like two years I think it was around two years to three years that is when the lady passed on so since the, all that it was last season that this land became free. And again, some of you supported him. In fact, it's one person who supported the Bagod tree in plowing the first time, plowing the second time, buying, buying all the seeds, buying all the fertilizers. When I say all the fertilizer, the first fertilizer that they will use now when they will be planting. <laughs> then the second one, that is the top up. So we have a DAP and we have the CN. And buying the seeds, plus that is the beans, plus the maize, and also money to help him when he will be planting. 
the labor. Yeah. So then when it gets up now we wait for for weeding. So thank you so much for uplifting this man. You give him a hope. You give him that energy to push on. So for example, he's not here, but in the next part you'll be seeing where he is. He has not here. So he's a guy that has got up. He's a guy who has hands, has cocks. He, he'll take care of that family. And God bless you, people. God bless you. you. You might see that you're doing little, but no. Your $5, your $10, your $100, your $1,000 changes life. Telling you this house, I'm just looking, no? I'm just looking at that color. And I'm saying, oh my God. It's really good. In fact, I'm thinking that when I come to a point of maybe... Uh, painting the exterior, uh, exterior part of my house one day, one of these fine days that uh, if I get cash, maybe that is the color to choose because that color is really fitting in that environment. But thank you so much, you people. You really did marvelous. You really did miracles. So I'm happy this land has been plowed. The next time I'm sure we come. So it will take time. Like this one, I think it was done yesterday. Or the day before yesterday. So it will dry. It will dry. I think it will take like this week. It dries these weeds, all of it. Then now the next time. They come back with the jembes. They plant the maize. So he's in the right track. He's in the middle group, which I also loved. It's going to be well with this family all through. So stay tuned. From here, we're heading to another wonderful family. Yeah, so once again, we are here. So as I had told you initially that uh, I was coming to another family. Still in Nyamwini. Yeah, still in Nyamwini. But uh, quite a distance from Baba Godfrey where I was. And uh, this is a family for those people who have been with me. When you see this forest behind me, you know it's got Joseph's family. So we are here. Yeah, this morning in fact it has, it's a miracle that uh, I'm here. Yes, yeah, some of you may not understand why I'm saying it's a miracle because it, we came to a point where uh, I was to come and close the house or officially hand it over and tell the madam that uh, we wait for God's intervention. Yeah, but before that, yeah, one of you came through and remember that we have Joseph's family. Yeah, that uh, we started from very far and to go to the end. So remember I had come to this family quite some time back and I did like four videos. And uh, I talked about the reinforcement of that wall. But... Uh, there was no success. Yeah, for Zach Discovery, understand because the economy is hard all over. Yeah, so. It's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. Now, this lady, there's a day I remember I came here and I found that she had brought water, which I guessed that. Uh, the water was in preparation for the reinforcement of that wall. Yeah, because I think she, I think she was either lacking some cash in the house, so she went and did like a, a push when she bring like one drum. So she had brought the water prior to. That is, there was the day that uh, Omera did the complete roofing of that house. Okay, I learned that from my OG. I learned that. But what could I do? There was no money. By then we could not start the reinforcement because we didn't even have the sand. So I, had, uh, I did not even talk about the water. I only asked her who brought the water. She said I learned what she meant by bringing the water. I went. So uh, yesterday the day before yesterday I had called her, I told her, I want you to carry the bricks, take them inside, hand the sun. That is on Sunday. So I told her that, please, 
make sure you carry those bricks you and I just Stephen. Uh, you take them to the house. You store them there. Lock them inside until when you shall be in a position of finishing the reinforcement. They had started. As you can see, they had started bringing the bricks inside. So I told them, do not rush. Do not rush. You can maybe take 100 per day, put them inside, arrange them. The following day, take another 100, arrange them. Slow by slow, because I knew that uh, in the next maybe one month, we were not going to get maybe the money to, to do the reinforcement. But uh, God is listening to our prayers. And we really thank God. You see, these are motivations that you people give to these people. You can see that this compound is well maintained, is well swept, clean. This is the dirt, the, the rubbish that they, they, they swept in the morning. You know, they're living near these trees, so these trees will always shed leaves. So they have to sweep. They have to sweep. Now, one of you came through and I, in fact, I remember we had just, uh, finished talking with the fellow, the band. I said, oh, fellow, now what we do? Uh, Mama Joyce's house is at Linton. Mama Joseph has to be reinforced. And I thank God that uh, we had the doors and the windows fixed. So I told him, what I'm going to do, that lady has already started putting the, the bricks inside. We either we lock the house until the day we shall do the reinforcement. Or she'll maybe look for a way, something to do. Maybe she can just go inside and we pray something happen. So one of you sent $300. That was yesterday. $100 was for this project. $100 for Mama Joyce project. And $100 was to go to Otenga. There's a lady that uh, Otenga is also helping in Rongo. So I sent out Tenga his. I called the fellow, I told him, come. God has seen us through. That means maybe today there might be some work that is taking place in uh, Kingaris. What I did with the money, immediately that money I was, I got the distribution of the money. Remember I had told you that I had paid money for, first of all I called the lady, I told her, stop where you are with the bricks. Those ones that have remained, let them be there so that the, the masons will come and pick from the, there today. That's why you're seeing others inside, others outside. So the other money I had to pay now, the dumper guy, the rest of the money, because I had paid 3700 So I paid the remaining balance for him to bring for us sun. Remember I requested you that this place, this is the right time to bring materials. And the main material we are only looking for is sand. So from the quotation that I had done for this plastering of this house, already we are done with the $100. Thank you so much. So that's why we're having this. I brought five cements. Five cements. And as you can see, we're having two masons. I could not bring three masons because we could be not be in a position to pay the three masons. Murimi brought five cements. Let me ask Mama Joseph whether we got them, all of them. So we have the five cements. So I don't know how many they have used so far. Oh, can I illogical to work in Mama Joseph? Oh, I'm at Moja. Oh, kuna yenye liko imebaki kumbi. So walile, Murimi alileta tano. Yeah. All right. So there was one that had remained Murimi brought uh, five. So we having six. So so far they have used two. So this is Sinsiga Baba Godfrey. Wali gani baba? Asante. Kwa salama. Kwa salama kabisa. Ndienda kwako nikaambia watu mustulie nitaonyesha penye Sinsiga yu. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so Baba Godfrey is here. We really thank God. So the cements, remember the cements at, are at 950. 950. 
Kenya shillings. But in Sibani, in Sibani, I'm told that they are sold at 1,000. I really don't understand how that comes because most of these hardwares in Nyabohansi, sometimes they pick this cement from Sibani. Now, I don't know how they can sell for us at 950 and in Sibani they sell. Okay, I don't know. I'll ask fellow the boy because uh, most of the time he goes and buy these cements at... Uh, yeah, but recently he has been taking, I think, from Nyabohans. I don't know he has picked from the Manchester. I'll ask him. If that is the case, I'll ask him. So the, the other money from the hundred dollars, that was fourteen thousand. The exchange rate was fourteen fourteen two hundred. That was one hundred and forty two. We have water. These drums. The two of them. Then what, what else? So there's transport of the cement, there's purchasing cement, there is the sand, there is the two masons and two handmen. Uh, what else did we purchase that with? The 14,000? Yeah. So the cement is 5 times 950 plus transportation 500 plus 430 because I'd paid that guy 3,700. Then what was it as? So we have the two drums that is 36 buckets. Then we have, uh, what else do we have? We have the two mass on 2,000. We have two handmen. Yeah, that money. I'll get that the, the, if there's a balance, we shall know. So that is how the money was distributed. And we thank God. So today we are going to do. Now this house... Remember that wall has to go to the iron sheet. It has to reach the iron. That is the fact that is what we call the reinforcement. So the reason why I was calculating the three masons, if I got money. Let me now explain that. After what they are doing today, you see this one is going to reach. I'll go behind the, the back of the house and I'll show you. After that, there is another layer that is constructed on top. I wish I was at Baba Godfrey. I would have shown that. On top of the iron sheet. Now, this one, it makes like a uniform wall past the iron sheets. So it is constructed like, I think, around two, two layers like that. That is now the third mason. That is how the third mason was going to come in. That means if I had uh, money for tomorrow, I would have one mason tomorrow here. But, uh, yeah, maybe we'll calculate that money together. 4,700, 4,300 plus 950 times uh, 5, that is uh, 47, 4,700, that is uh, 9,000 plus 3,000, that is 12,000. 3,000 comes how? We have two muscles. That is 2,000. You have two handmen. That is 1,000. 12,000. And I think some hundred there. Then we have water. <clears throat> water is 20 per bucket. And that one is 336 uh, buckets. That's 720. That is like 13,000. So, the other money we have the transportation of the cement. If you're having the balance that is remaining from that money is like 500. All right. So if I had 1,500 plus at a one bucket of one drum of water, that is 30, not 30. That is 18 buckets. Still, this wall will be will need to be cured tomorrow. Yeah, so 1,500 plus... 360, that is 1860 for the water plus the muscle would have done the work tomorrow. That means they reinforce the top part. That is what I'm saying. The top part needs also to be constructed. Now that one, the muscle that will come when we get that money will now be walking on top of the iron sheet. That is what happened now. Now that entirely makes the, the reinforcement strong. So you are about to cut the You are going to cut it. You are going to cut it. You are going to cut it. 
Itakuji kata wakati tunapiga plasta. Hmm. Nini iko nje? Matofali. Si itapigwa plasta. Si juu ju ya hiyo bati kuna nini nafaa kuwekwa tofali. Eh. Hey. Wacha 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 ba. Wacha. Chacha na kuri tofali ore kiengerwe. Pole ba. So there is another discussion we have. I hope I think kuna kuna bati lilibaki hapo. I think wacha tuone. Cha tu nadhani kuna kabati kalibaki. So church is saying that this wall, this but lakini haifai kupita. Ipite tena ikatho church. Si ati ipite na crash kwa ukuta. Ikikaa hivyo maji atakuwa atupiga plaster bado. Maana nani yetu basi natakiwa ikalie tu hapa hivi. Ndio tofauti. Aha. Ilingana na hiyo nyuma yaka mkono. Hiyo eh hiyo. Sia. Lakini kama hapa ni hivi sasa kwa namba ile hiyo kuna ni kombali. Kombali kabisa. Kama ile mti ya tatu ile So kuna kabati kana faka anga. Mbona aliniambia hizi vitu alikonga? Ilikuwa kuaje? Ame ilipungwa. So ina maana ita is a leak kinyo kwaacha hivyo. All right. So there's a discussion that Shacha is giving him here that uh, there's an an iron sheet that need to be added here. That is like 1 3 meter. Okay, not the whole of it but it will be put in a way that is flaps on the others. So there's a level. There's something is explaining that you cannot clearly see from the camera. Okay, maybe I confirm whether we have an iron sheet that remained. I don't know whether they used all of them. Rusia, kuna bati ni dibaki. Ama bati ni basoki ya tatu. Hata kapis. Basoki. Hmm. Aki ni chacha. Sinaona kama bati kama hili liliwekwa likaingia sana. Mahare kama rano. Sili kama ka... e hapa liliingia sana na maana wanafaa kulisongesha. Sijui walikuwa naenda na miti yenye walikuwa wameeka. E, sasa ina maana likiwekwa litakaa wapi? Litapigiliwa wapi? Na maana kama hili liliingia na haya yaliingia. Hmm. Labda mseme nije ni mleta hapa ya songesha kidogo. Ringia sana. All right. So there's no need for the Nego songe tu. Eh. Eh, sasa isogesho tu kidogo nje. Sasa labda kama tutakao tumepata pesa, ile siku ya mtu unakuja kutenga hapo jo wewe. Nitakuja naye asubuhi umuonyeshe penye itafika ng'oe weke aende. All right so we have agreed that those iron sheets they are okay only that they need to be pushed outside a little bit so that's what we have agreed with chacha so the day that I'll get the the money like 2000 to do that work for the reinforcement on top so chacha will be here I'll come with the omera it's just a matter of just removing the nails push the iron sheets outside and that is it so chacha they are with victor you might have seen him on the camera is the other side So he's busy they are really working hard to make sure that the entire of this uh, is done today. So thank you so much for the person that made sure that this work is done. Yeah, then from there we're going to wait for another stretched hand of God to see us through. So we're having one damper of sand already. We're having bricks. Cements we are having six because I'm told there was one that had remained. So I don't know how many they will use. I'm hoping that uh, they'll use around maybe four to remain to do the top part. I'm hoping. Sisi mitine zitatosha hapa. Ama ni tano. Mafundi. Simiti ngapi? Si ndi ilikuwa sehemu kubwa. So simiti ina na dan. All right guys so that is it so I'm excited because eventually we have found ourselves in this project once more So let's wait for the end result so from inside the other time when I was showing you how it was looking in fact you could see the sun you could see the light but today once this one will be done across and inside it's going to be an intact intact house I don't know whether you're going to put the curtains or the boxes on the window and we start leaving 
I don't know. God knows. And thank you so much for the donors. Thank you so much for the prayers. See you next video. Bye-bye.